So, <laughs> now that we are back and those guys are all down, and there's just the dogs and the butcher left down there, I'm going to grab this dog's attention first, as I did last time. And as you will have seen, I've also equipped the longbow. Oh, come on. Sword's a bit fussy about whether it wants to hit or not. So, equip the bow, and I'm going to take the dog out. Or at least get his attention. From a distance. See, Butcher not going to attack me. Dog, confused about where it's supposed to go. Oh, there we are. Phew. So, dog's down. Unequip the bow so that I've got full movement again. First things first, I'm going to grab my souls before that bitch fuck can uh, attack me again. And here we go, Butcher. Slow attacks with the meat cleaver, but very, very powerful. You're waiting for him to present an opportunity like that, where he goes for the strong attack. That will leave him open to a backstab. You can attack him while he just does a normal attack, but he's uh, he can be a little tricky to backstab, actually. It's a bit of a pain sometimes. As you can see, I mean, I was right behind him then, but there was nothing going on. And there we go. Another backstab. Butcher's down. Probably dropped a sack. Yeah. Dropped a sack. And here we go. Large Ember. That will allow you to upgrade your weapons to plus 10. Uh, regular weapons, that is. Now you have two choices here. You can go down into the horrible, swampy, murky water down there where there are two dogs and a hollow. Or you can come this way. You'll only have to come this way the first time you're in here. And here we go. Here's Laurentius of the Great Swamp. Come on, let me talk. Yeah, no, yeah. I have been eaten alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. I am Laurentius. Oh. This guy teaches pyromancy spells, as you can see. Me and him, practically brothers. He's going to go back to Filing Shrine, while we are going to get attacked by another Butcher. There he is. I like to bring him out here, just because there's a tiny bit more space. Oh, wow. And you've also got these pillars, should you need them, to hide behind. Again, same technique as the last one. You're waiting for him to attack, and then you're jumping in with the backstab. Just remember, shields up at all times, these guys will drain your stamina if you let them hit you. So, uh, you can back off a bit if you'd prefer not to have your stamina drained by them. And onwards we go. So first things first, item there, slime up there. Now sometimes, if you're lucky, you can hit the slime, let him come down, and attack him with some pyromancy. You can attack him with melee, but it's going to take an age. If you're trying to create a magic weapon, then soon You'll see the perfect area for farming uh, green titanite shards. Now, uh, I used to have a message waiting here for people. This point, lots and lots of slimes. Now, the only one that's going to that should cause you any difficulty is that one over there. Or at least it's the only one that causes me difficulty because of the way I do this level. I'm going to wait for him to come towards me a bit, I think. Oh no, I won't, actually. What I'm going to do is take these guys out. You have to be very close to them, sadly, in order to land uh, a pyromancy attack. Otherwise, your shot's going to fall short. 
if you've got the covetous gold serpent ring, which I'll be showing later in another episode, then you should have uh, an easier time farming the titanite. I'm going to run past the rest and we head to this hollow here. Kill him. Oh, I've used the master key there. I'm not sure if you have to use the master key, actually. I don't know how that works. But we come through to the uh, next bonfire. And this is the only bonfire we're going to be using in uh, this area. Now what I'm going to do, because I've got humanity on me, is reverse hollowing. And I'm also going to well, level up once as well. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, what to take? Uh, yeah, let's just stick with dexterity. I mean, it's a dex character. Let's get it as high as possible. And I'm also going to kindle this flame, seeing as I'm carrying around a humanity with me that I'm not using. That way, when it comes to the boss, I can just come back here and replenish. Uh, this is one area where you'll find summon signs, should you need them. And uh, summoning can be very helpful in this place. But there's no one there for me. May I mean, maybe I'm too low a level, I'm not sure. Ah, of course, of course, the big, big rat. Now, a couple of ways to take on the rat, and I am in one of the less convenient ways to do so. So what I'm going to do... is somehow avoid all the slimes. That was fortunate. And I'm going to head back the way I came from near the butchers. Oh, there we go. Right out of that. Now the reason I'm going back this way is because the rat is fairly tough. I mean, it doesn't have much health, but it can do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, these dogs. Oh, damn. Huh. Never mind. Uh, this guy. Attack this guy first. Oh, I've been invaded. Let's see if we've a uh, bottomless, bottomless box glitch guy. Try and find him as well. Don't want to get attacked while I'm... While I'm in a less convenient place. So I'll come through to here. This, uh... Oh, shit, Laurentius is there as well. Down. I imagine the guy is uh, came in up there somewhere. I'm not sure. I don't really. Oh, there he is. Using the meat cleaver and the darkwood grain ring. Oh no, he's not using the meat cleaver. Okay, well let's bow. Probably going to kill me. He's uh. Yeah, I think he's a bottomless box. It looks like he's got Havel's stuff on it. Indictment. Does he want to fight? I think he does. Yeah. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, let's indict him. Why not? He gave it to me. I'll use it. Well, that was good. Damn it. I wanted to be in human form so that I could... Uh, get Kirk. But I think I'm going to... Look at that. Stone armor, crimson set. People have really decided to take the challenge out of this game. I'll just head back this away. Go get the souls that I lost. Well, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, that was annoying. Oh, I needed to go this way anyway, didn't I? Go, got back one humanity. And 2,200 souls. So, not too bad. And I will keep my uh, humanity on me and not use it just yet. 
if you have a sword like a katana, you actually find that hitting anything in this area is really difficult because the katana hits the wooden frame here. So I had real difficulty when I was uh, first in this area. Don't forget the dog over here. And there's the second one here. I'm not sure if it is actually. No. Anyway, this is where the butcher was. So you're going to come out here and drop down and you'll find yourself above the giant rat. Uh, there's an item over on that side which I'll go and get. And then you'll find the very, very easy way of taking him down is to have a bow and arrow and use it on him. Can't do a thing. Takes a fair amount of damage off it. You can, of course, try and land a, uh, a dropping attack off that ledge over there. Which I think I may go and do. But as you can see, health just shooting down with a couple of arrows. And I'll go and try and finish him off with the drop attack. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, perfect. Does a huge amount of damage. It's actually, I think it's usually a one hit kill. That attack drops some humanity. And get the sewer chamber key, that's for a little later on. It's actually right near a merchant. And then I think this is the way I want to come. Oh no, there's a big drop down there. So not that way. There's a rat. The rats usually try and uh, trick you into going somewhere you don't really want to go. Oh, great. A humanity, though. That's perfect. Now, look out around these corners. Um, <laughs> put my card up just in time. And do I want to go either way here? Yes, that's the way. This is the way you want to come. Now, I would usually come out this way. Oh, there's a fellow down here. Hello. Well, that wasn't great. There we go. Bit, bit hit and miss there. Oh, <laughs> someone fell down the hole. So, if you've got your bow and arrow on you, get it out. Because there is a channeler down there. Now, this channeler can't come into the tunnel. So I'm going to head to the uh, little gap in here. And while the channeler is trying his best, I'm going to have to step out a little further, I think. You're going to shoot him with your bow and arrow. You could head forward, hit him with your... Uh, with your sword if you wanted to, but then you take the risk of incurring the wrath of the rats. Do be careful of these rats. Some of them are huge. That one actually looks like it's bigger than the channeler. But the channeler is the most important part here. Because if you try and head into the boss fight, that channeler is going to make life very, very difficult. He's going to buff the boss and make him practically invincible. Which at level 22 or what have you would easily be the end of me. So take out the rats. I've got a blockade of rats here. <laughs> Fill up the walls with our enemies dead. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Watch out out here. These boxes have rats in them I believe. Rat around the corner. Oh no, these ones don't. But there are there are boxes you'll come across. This rat is inside me. Get what get the fuck off me. Yeah, it's those boxes over there that have rats in them. I'm not even sure if there are any items over there. But I'll show you for the sake of it. Burst the boxes. Can do it with a bow and arrow. And come around. Boss fight is going to be down there. It's quite a good boss fight, actually. I, I like that one. Can be tough. 
And is there anything else? No. So what I'm going to do is take the bow and arrow. Bow off uh, at the very least. What does this say? Item ahead. There we go. Large titanite shard. Very handy for upgrading uh, items once they get past level 4, I think. And I'll head out this way. I'll also heal up a bit. Mm, I'm not sure if you're supposed to take this uh, fog gate from this side. I think you're supposed to approach from the other way. But never mind. Let's keep heading through the tunnels. Let's kill. You don't have to kill any of these rats, actually. But if that's what you're into, go for it. There is, of course, the chance that one of them would drop humanity. We'll continue on our path. Keep your shield up around these boxes, because you never know when a rat's going to drop out. Try not to get yourself surrounded by the rats, because they do cause poison. That's a tiny rat. You can ignore that. And here. Right, here's where I wanted to be. I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is, uh... Yeah, this is right by the bonfire, but it's not quite where I wanted to be. Actually, I'm going to pause it there, and I'll continue straight away and show you uh, a nice shortcut that you'll soon be using. <laughs> 